Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, hey Brandon, what was that no. shit you were saying about Slowbro? I was gonna say, I was gonna say, listen, listen. Slowbro, yes. Slowpoke, dark enough that, it tails, that its tail falls off, but the shelter then moves from the tail to biting onto its head. Oh, I've never seen that. And secretes uh. poison into its brain. Jesus. That unlocks its super intelligence. Is that how it becomes a slow king? <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. It puts poison <laughs> in its brain. Okay, it hold on. It becomes an, in, uh, an intelligence comparable to that of an award-winning scientist. <laughs> Just an award-winning scientist, <laughs> not not one in particular. Hold I'm, on. I'm looking at the dex entries right now, and uh, the diamond, pearl, and black and white ones say award-winning scientists. <laughs> plural. Oh. Okay, multiple okay. scientists, that's even smarter. Should I back off then use a max elixir maybe? Because my PowerPoints are dire. Back Just, off first and then see what you need to yeah. do. Yeah, and should I, ch I guess I already changed everything I care about, right? Should I tell Tropius to, um, to just go for it or? Just go for it. Go for it. Um, go after foes? Sure. And then I just switch spots with him. Ah. Well, we'll see what happens. If he decides to use Whirlwind okay. on this next attempt, then uh, we'll see what happens. Also, that was uh, not planned. That was weird. Okay, uh, we'll absolutely use Sword Stance. Do you think we should turn it off now or let him use it more? Use, let him use it one more time. Sure. I could throw a rock at him from here, but You'll I don't only do 20 feel damage. like... <laughs> yeah, maybe I just Max Elixir? Sure. I gotta find a time to use it, so. There we go. Thanks, Bulbasaur. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bulbasaur, we're turning on exclusive move user real quick. Oh. The, okay, so Whirlwind needs to be disabled. That's good uh, to know. Tropius is also an auto cannibal. What? Yeah. He eats his own bananas, right? Yeah, he eats fruit and then they grow on him and then he eats them off of himself. So he can live forever is what, well, that wouldn't make you live forever. He can not ever starve. Yeah. It go. just says, it, does, it doesn't say bananas. It just says delicious fruit. Oh, oh, right. They're never directly called bananas, are they? No, it's just delicious okay. fruit. Everyone's on exclusive move user now. I've got my PowerPoints back. Does Absol um, still have Swords Dance toggled? He does, but he only used it the one time, I think. No, he used it twice. Turn, turn oh, it off. Oh, he used it twice? Okay. I didn't notice. There and also turn on Scratch, because Bite is not a physical attack in this. Got it. You think I should turn off Bite? Sure. Or should I? Okay. And I should probably tell him to just go attack, right? Yeah. Because I don't think he's going to move on his own here. Okay. Um... Do you think I keep my distance and shoot shit at him, or do I just try and find an opening and start biting? Well, you can't shoot shit at him because your uh, teammates are in the way. Yeah, I just mean, like, get around him. Yeah, I'd get around him. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, bullet seed, here it comes! We crit on the first one. An incredibly deadly Pokemon that no one would think of. Mr. Mime. Oh. Okay, hold on. Uh, I gotta, I gotta throw an Orin Berry on him. It is throw, right? Yeah, you can throw it at him to have it heal. Okay. Ha! It fell on the ground. Oh no! What a goose! Don't die. Your ticket to victory. Okay, good. He changed target. Oh, Jesus! Do I just try uh, again? Or yeah, heal sure. Seed? Okay. Nah, heal seed is a full heal. There we go, that one worked. Oh. Should I turn off Razor Leaf on Wadagoos? Yeah. Cause I think I just want him to use uh just use bullet seed. Um Okay. Our very dangerous Pokemon, super dangerous, out of nowhere, is uh Mr. Mime. Okay. So Mr. Mime looks like he's miming and making an invisible wall, but what he's actually doing is vibrating his fingertips to stop air molecules from moving. That's fucked up. 
Uh, if you stop air from moving, you can't actually breathe it in. Yeah, I'd figure. <laughs> uh, so he could just kill you. <laughs> so he could suffocate you in like a bubble of air that doesn't move. Yeah. Uh, do I thunder bowl? I probably just payday. I mean, bite my, if my, you want to make him cringe. Yeah, it's worth trying to make him cringe. Ooh, that is not much damage. We're really relying on bullet seed here. I also have to hope I don't get crit. Oh, okay, okay. How many reviver seeds are left? Two. We got two? Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Oh, I got my power points back when I died. Hey! First try! That was not that bad. Bullet seed is really, really good. Gwa. <laughs> No one's been up here in a hundred million years, and I got my ass kicked by a Bulbasaur. <laughs> An earthquake? That's not po No, that- that really, really is not possible. We're on a cloud. You can't have an earthquake when you're not on Earth. We're on top of clouds. Shockwaves, they are huge. That's it, I got it. Looks straight up, Rekwaz. He fell for it! Oh my god! It is the, the meteor for in Cloud Strife and all of that. Oh no! <laughs> what is it? We need the black materia. Or no, we need the white materia. The black materia made the meteor, right? D dude, you live in basically space. How did you not see that coming before right now? Yeah, it's actually really close. <laughs> It will destroy the world if it continues on this path. Hold on, a shooting star? Isn't a shooting star like a comet? Don't they burn up? So that is why. Please hurry and destroy it. Before I try... Now hold on. Hold on. No, no. We Don't kicked his ass. Try. Maybe Bulbasaur should just try using bullet seed at the meteor. You know, just see if it works. What about all the legendary Pokemon like other than Rayquaza? Like, what about every other one? Where's Lugia? <laughs> like... I... Hmm... You know what? Maybe we should have recruited some of those legendary birds to come with us. Why didn't they fly us up here? If I were to loose my hyper beam here, you would not escape unscathed. So, we accepted that from the start. That's right, we did accept that we would die from the start. Except for me, because I'm turning back into a human or whatever. Well said! Bang! Kills you and just does nothing out the meteor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take charge of your destiny. Come in, come in. <laughs> Oh no, will the beam destroy the spirit bomb? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> exactly what we're doing now <laughs> is, is what is what got that guy mad at me in the Paper Mario Let's Play now that I think of it. <laughs> I'm telling jokes over the intro of the game, sorry. I'm just having fun. I like the game. It's like Paper Mario. The fuck do they mean I'm being too negative? Paper Mario is awesome. <laughs> is this a dream? No, it's not a dream. I'm just fucking dead in the clouds. <laughs> The star explosion swallowed me, and now I'm adrift, adrift as a spear. Oh, we are Deja dead. Vu. Oh, are no. you gonna fight Gengar? What's gonna happen? Well, Gengar is a spirit. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God! Is this is this like the the post game? Is it post game? The secret final fight, Cloud versus Sephiroth, where it's like a story fight. The Shadow Gengar. Shadow the Gengar. Is that smile <laughs> even eviler than usual? <laughs> so I like something about the the display picture of him with that smile immediately next to the sprite with that smile. Gengar, is that a gun? Didn't take much to put you down. <laughs> Serves you right. So if he kills us in the spirit world, are we like double dead? I'll drag I'll you into the dark yeah. world. That'll do. Oh no! <laughs> I'll What's send the you dark? to the shadow realm. <laughs> is he okay? Is the dark world the shadow realm? Is he bringing us to hell? Is he throwing us in the river Styx? Is there well, going to be see, like a Odia bunch of forbidden one? You're you're on the right track for the shadow realm. Gengar is dragging me through nowhere in particular. I do like that walk cycle actually. I like that they're just using your sleeping sprite. Yeah. 
Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. A bunch I of know, skeletons we are going to dance about it. We need to find Kasumi's dead parents. <laughs> what is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? You already were. It's fine. You were abandoned in Pokemon world. <gasps> huh? Wait a minute. I'm being kind of a dick. Oh, no, I just took the wrong path. Never mind. Damn, damn it, I took the wrong way to get to the dark world. Wait, the wrong path. You just went straight. This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. To heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Bye now. You <laughs> he just dragged you like he dragged you like 20 feet and was like, map, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> You're heavy. <laughs> hey, hey, can you hear? Snap out of it. Gengar oh. tried to dra drag me to the Shadow Realm! Hey guys, Gengar tried to drag my soul. It was pretty fucked up. <laughs> Hell of the Ancients. I thought you said Hell of the Ancients. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can't See, say Hell. They would have said Heck of the Ancients. This this is why Discord's a piece of shit. I swear to God. I've been looking into more services to try and get us in a voice call where things don't cut out as much. I swear to God, you guys don't even hear it, audience, because if I don't hear it, then nobody gets to hear it because I'm the one recording. But it fucking cuts out like a quarter of what What a Geek says. I swear to Christ. Half I'm the time I'll be editing. I'm talking at this point. <laughs> yeah, I go to like editing and I'll see like a tiny little wave on like the the discord uh audio track and i'm not sure what it is i think it's like brandon's dog barking or something i i single out so i just hear that audio track and it's like the faintest whisper of what a geek laughing and it getting like cut out <laughs> all the fucking time i don't know what's up with it and i know that i sound like ass to everybody on discord and i've never been able to figure out why like they are. Gengar saved me. <laughs> he was actually trying to double kill me, but all right. <laughs> Maybe. Did Gengar save MDF and B2? Wait, did he save you? Awesome. You're alive. Hold on. Are we going to give a redemption arc to Gengar, even though he was actually trying to kill us? <laughs> you were incredible. Snivel. <laughs> Is this the Caterpie that Youngster Joey's always calling me to say that he almost beat? No, that is Youngster Joey. Youngster Joey got put into the body <laughs> of a Caterpie? Wow. Yeah. Just That's for a these fate games. worse than death. Oh. Oh, he's staring at the <laughs> sun again. God. Fair or not, the star is no more. No, you're just it's blind from there. staring Look, into the, the sun. Sea. Oh, no. It's closer than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Though it will not be right away. The disaster shall soon be calmed. What about your team members? Where are Tropius's and Absol- Oh my god, it actually has the nickname! That's amazing! Wow, I didn't think they would ever get brought up again. <laughs> be calm, both are unharmed. We just don't have them for the cutscene. That, that is fall. unique dialogue. I didn't They're remember like that. Falling out of the sky. They're unharmed for now. <laughs> I love that it not only writes down the person we took with us, but the dude we recruited while we were there. That's actually really cool. And the text box even addressed that there were two of them. That's why he said both. Yeah, that's awesome, actually. We did it, MDF and B. Everything worked. We've won peace. Oh, my God. We figured out world peace. We just had to kick the shit out of Rayquaza, and then he had to hyper beam the meteor, we, and then the game out, gets voted game of the year, like like Final Fantasy VII every year. We figured we figured out where the One Piece was. Yeah, we finally if One Piece can finally end. Man, that show's been going on forever. We found it <laughs> like only a few episodes. Oh, we didn't necessarily find it. We just said we have One Piece. I remember when I was a mm, teenager, true. I was watching through One Piece with my sister. We just would watch like every episode. We got all the way up to like maybe 20 episodes past whatever the one was where they fight s the Sandman. And it was all in Japanese with amazing like bootleg English subtitles or people's names spelling changed all the time. And I remember watching that in high school and thinking, man, I've watched like one million episodes of this. I, I think I'm done. I don't think I can keep up. And to the best of my knowledge, it's still fucking going. 
It's still going. It's supposed to be ending sometime soon. That shit will never end. Calls for a celebration. They'll remake the whole thing. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. <laughs> Don't point those things at me. Were you planning on hydro pumping that lombre? Uh, right into the canyon? <laughs> no, no. Let it loot. Yeah, shoot the lombre. Ha ha. <laughs> everyone, everyone laughed with lombre. Did you see he didn't have the thing? <laughs> That's amazing. You gotta be kidding me. I'll secure him so he can't get away. What is going on? Is this a funny <laughs> prank? You guys are going off that cliff. Oh, well, not uh, bad. Just <laughs> shoot this guy real quick and everyone's going to watch. Serious? No, don't. Ha 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 ha. Let's kill this guy. <laughs> Did he punch him? What's going on? Is, man, no wonder it didn't take much to convince these guys to form a lynch mob against us. They're crazy. <laughs> It's Gardevoir. the ghost of Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, MDF and B, and your friends. Peace and has returned to our world. And then Gardevoir turns into Gengar. It's been me the whole time. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> That's my other name. Thank you for everything. And now, MDF and B, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Oh, oh no, there's glowies around us. MDFMB, <laughs> I am so sorry for this. It looks like I'm holding the button to like absorb in experience points and fable. To everyone, please bid farewell. Peace out, boys. Oh, MDFMB, did you make a hero save? MDFMB, your body, what's happening to you? <laughs> <laughs> what a goose, I am a man. MDF and B, your magic is low. Watch that. <laughs> man, I gotta play Fable again sometime soon. A lot of people have been commenting on my ancient, like eight year old now, Fable Let's Play recently, and it's been getting me in the mood to play it again. I gotta do an evil playthrough on like the remake or something. I must leave. Oh, what? Wow, he was so shocked his ears flew up in the air. Oh, wait, no, probably she isn't Snubble like 90% female or something. What are you saying? Everyone, thank you for everything all this time, except for the lynch mob. Fuck you for that. Snubble is 75% female. What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have returned to the human world. Unbelievable. I just, sorry, could you imagine like, could you imagine like a president or a prime minister gets elected to a country or something during a time of great crisis and like four years later, they've like fixed everything and everyone's like, wow, what an unbelievable run you had. And he walks up That's to a podium and he's like, my time as a human is over, everybody. I must go back to my home planet. He glows, turns into a gray alien and then teleports away. And Earth is just left to like deal with the knowledge that is has been bestowed upon them before he left. That's what's happening to these Pokemon right now. <laughs> They're like, what's a human? <laughs> Go back to the human world? Okay, I don't even know what I think anymore if you guys know about the human world. <laughs> why? Why? I don't understand. Why uh, Why do you have to leave? I gave you my house. I can't get it back. Because my Aren't family and my friends miss me. I've been a Pokemon for years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will always be my friend, what a goose. I will never forget you. Thank you for the house. I'm keeping it. Don't go empty F and B. I'm blessed to have met me. I am hashtag blessed to have met you. I, what am I going to do when you're done, when you're gone, MDF and B? I am very sorry. This is goodbye. I don't have an answer for you. MDF and B, MDF and B, MDF and B. I'm really happy with the name choice, I gotta say. Man. And then we became the spirit bomb. And then we flew into a different Pokemon world and got hit by a hyper beam and it's a time loop. No. 
Man, no, they did the, not see this shit coming. <laughs> it's a transition between the first and second game. You've now turned into this ball. In the second game, you just come back down as a ball. <laughs> yeah, we just crash at the beginning of the first game. We're still a Meowth, and the first line of dialogue is, Fuck! <laughs> 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 Why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Saved my life. Left before I could even say thanks. They all turn to the camera. Say goodbye to your loved ones while you can. <laughs> Just up and went away like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. Sob. <laughs> this was coming. <laughs> Our world was saved by MDF and B. I look back now. When bound for the sky, MDF and B seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. MDF and B must have... MDF and B must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when... When the star was destroyed, MDF and B knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't MDF and B tell me earlier? If this was coming, <laughs> why didn't MDF and B tell me? He's gonna have a complex. We <laughs> fucked him up. <laughs> Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, MDF and B must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Wadagoose. Man. And then it just like hard cuts to you as a human, like in bed. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird dream. And yeah, then like the, the entire, and then that's only the halfway point of the game. The rest of the game is Harvest Moon. You just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say like a. Sky. I was gonna say like almost um, a Mega Man battle network, but you never oh. actually do the battles. You just yeah. go to school and then go home. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> voices, I hear voices. I'm not progressing the dialogue, by the way. I think this is like end game cutscene. Oh, they're like, yeah, you don't get to read at your own pace <gasps> anymore. Your friend is heartbroken. Oh, that's a bummer. Did, did we get the bad ending? <laughs> a true friend, a friend for life, except now. You finally realized it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. Oh, if you wish hard enough, you'll go back to Pokemon land. Got it. Yeah, I was joking about Rayquaza being Shenron, but maybe it's actually true. Yeah. Oh, Hey, Steph credits! Woo! We beat the game! Now, oh, producer Nakamura, I like his matches. Um, so, uh, I know I already said this like 100,000 times in the Let's Play, but I still routinely get asked, yes, I'm gonna do some post-game. I don't know how much post-game, but we're gonna do at least some post-game. I know that you guys are free tomorrow for more recording, which means we could definitely throw another session on this, throw another session into this. Throw um, another sesh at it? I was gonna yeah. say, you need to say sesh. Yeah, I should be saying sesh. Um, yeah. People were also asking, what what is the next Pokemon Let's Play after this? Uh, people are asking, next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or Pokemon Stadium 2? I like both of those ideas. We're gonna do both of them eventually, definitely. I think with Mystery Dungeon 2, we'll do it basically same format as this. I think with uh, with Pokemon Stadium 2, it'll probably be more of a casual, whenever we have time, whoever is free kind of thing, just for the sake of everybody's sanity involved, so that it doesn't become as much of a slog as New Game Plus. Do we call it New Game Plus? I guess it was like Round 2. Round 2 of Stadium 1 was quite the slog. Round one was pretty fun. Round one was overall pretty fun. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Stadium 2, I th we'll just do off and on and whatever, have some fun with it. Probably a lot of mini games because the mini games in Stadium 2 are really good. They've got even more fun side game modes, so that's sweet. I mean, like, assuming the game <laughs> emulates well, because I haven't tested that yet, but I would hope it fucking works if the first one worked, but you know how N64 emulation is. Even uh, even Nintendo can't make a good N64 emulator because, man, you ever played uh, Ocarina of Time on the Switch? 
I think they fixed some of the texture issues, but a lot of the textures in that game are just busted. Um... God, do we have any final thoughts on the game? I thought it was really good, and everyone keeps telling me that the second mystery dungeon is way better. Wait, so I'm looking forward to it. There's cutscene. I don't want to leave. I don't want to. Let's <laughs> <laughs> throw back to an LP from 11 years ago. I want to stay longer for the post game with my invaluable friend. House. Irreplaceable house. <laughs> it's shaped like me. Please tell me it's a cutscene of you just going back. The real twist is when we wake up as a human and walk out of our house, our house in the real world is also shaped like our human's head. <laughs> well, now it just looks like a dick move because you left and everyone was all sad. Now you're just coming back the same day. <laughs> Fool <laughs> you. You're like, goodbye, everybody. It was great knowing you. And they're like, oh, oh, it's so sad. And they're just like, nah, just kidding. I'm back. They'll run <laughs> up to us. We're actually a different Meowth. <laughs> What happened to your mustache? Yay! We wished hard enough and came back with the power of friendship. End. <laughs> Man. The story of MDF&B and What a Goose ends here. But Big League isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. <laughs> don't change the channel. No, don't go away. <laughs> Please don't, don't turn off the game. At least save. <laughs> wow. What's an unknown dungeon? Is that like the hundred floor shit? No, I don't remember what that is. Oh. I remember people wanted me to do some like wonder mail stuff, friend rescue stuff. People can like send in their own codes. Maybe we'll do that someday as some kind of, like, planned stream? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I'll try and figure out the best format for that, because I'm sure typing in the passwords takes a while, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, I got hiccups. Maybe what I'll do is, uh... Oh, Jesus. I was gonna say people could type their codes into like the comment section. And then one day I'll have a stream where like I've taken a bunch of the codes ahead of time and like we're ready to do some stuff with that. Uh, but if they put those kinds of codes in the comments, I think that YouTube will probably just think it's spam because it looks like gibberish. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you guys can put those in the comment section. Just, just make a tweet and have them reply to that tweet. Yeah, yeah. I think when it's closer to the time that we'll actually do it, I'll, I'll do a tweet or something. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. If you keep up with this Let's Play, then you'll know what's going on. I think. On the next episode, though, we've got some post-game to do. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Oh damn.